It is one of the best kept secrets in the corporate world. Businesses attacked and their critical information stolen by cyber spies. So it may be a small number of people, but it's a, it's a hugely disproportionate amount of damage they would cause. The risk is so high, so costly, some companies like Skyport Communications hire consultants to beef up their security. So it becomes very hard for one person or uh, maybe even a team to keep up with every single latest uh, threat. Cyber criminals have hit almost every industry. Banking, energy, even the power grid. Sometimes the problem comes from the inside. In most companies, the network administrator is implicitly trusted. They have uh, godlike powers over the network. If the administrator is a thief or if he doesn't keep up with the latest threats, the company would be at risk. Police say when there is a security breach, companies many times don't call law enforcement. The fear is if the word gets out, it could be bad for business. Instead, they hire private information security experts like Paul Williams. He's developed a way of identifying a worker or potential employee who may be a problem. To demonstrate this method, we show him this. These four are CW employees who have volunteered for this experiment. The man on the bottom right is a convicted cyber crook. Without knowing any of this, we asked Williams to profile the pictures. What I see here is a man that uh, that may be good at handling uh, money. Well, I'm in sales. Everything they say, they say for a reason, picking words carefully. I try to make sure that I'm saying the right thing so I don't offend people. More or less we call a follow by the book type of person. Well, if there's a book for life in general, uh, show it to me. One thing about this gentleman here is he's very much do things his own way. He hit that right on the nail. Um, I've always you know, been that way with my friends as far as taking over. As for our bad guy. A lot of potential issues with this gentleman. Very complicated. Um, very complicated guy. So who's the potential problem? Williams narrowed it down to two, including our cyber crook. A lot of potential problems here. The Houston police agrees. Greg Watson was convicted for stealing critical information from his company by hacking into its entire network from home. Could have sold it to any of, of, of the competitors. He was doing basically all this um, for his cocaine addiction. A hundred people, we can use to eliminate 90 that are not suspects. Once Williams narrows down his pool, he examines their resume or talks to them before he pinpoints the bad guy. Elizabeth Lee, CW 39 News.